refrigerated van is a great way to keep your product cold while transporting it from point A to point B. But if you don't know how to use it, it's not gonna work properly, and that's the last thing you want. This short video tutorial will give you the essentials on how to make the most of your refrigerated van rental from California Rent-A-Car. And if you're a first-time renter, it's required viewing. We're confident you'll find it useful. The van works in one of two modes. The first mode is roadside which means you're going to power the refrigeration unit running the van's engine. The second mode is standby, which uses an external power source and a cable to run the refrigeration unit while the van's engine is off. Let's talk about the first of the two modes, roadside. The only thing you need for that is the key. To execute roadside, simply take the key, insert it into the ignition, and start the engine. It's important to note that the refrigeration unit will not work in accessory mode, so please make sure the van's engine is actually running. Upon starting the engine, the control box automatically displays a systems check message. After completing the systems check, the control box will power itself off. All of this occurs on its own, without you having to touch it. After the systems check is completed, press the power button. This will show you the current temperature in the back of the van. To change that, or to set your own temperature, press the select button not once but twice and you'll see the current desired temperature. To change that, use the arrow buttons until you get to the temperature you want to achieve. Simply press the select button one more time to lock in that temperature. When you see an arrow on your control box display, you'll know the refrigeration system is on and running. Under normal conditions, you'll reach your desired temperature in 30 to 60 minutes. You've now achieved temperature. If you want to power the refrigeration unit without running the van's engine, that's when you're going to use standby. Now standby mode is the most effective way to power the unit, but it needs to be executed properly and in a very specific order. So here's how it works. First, turn off the engine and remove the key. Next, locate the standby cable that is always in the cab of the van. The cable has two unique ends. One end is a traditional pigtail that plugs into any standard 110 volt outlet, the same outlets you have at home. The other end plugs into the van. So find the port right outside the driver's side door. The top of the cable has lock and unlock images. So line those up with the top of the port, insert the cable and twist clockwise to lock the cable into place. Once the van and the cable are securely connected, it's time to plug into a power source. Before plugging into your power source, it's extremely important that the van's engine is not running. We recommend putting the key in your pocket just to be certain. Once you plug into your power source, use the control box just like roadside mode. You'll see a new icon indicating that you are properly running the refrigeration unit in standby mode. Here's some more useful information. If you're renting a freezer van, standby mode works the exact same way as a refrigerated van, but both the power requirements and the outlet are different. Please consult one of our rental experts regarding those details. And on a hot day, if the van is exposed to direct sunlight, try cheating your desired temperature down just a couple of degrees. The sun is one powerful heat source. And just like your refrigerator at home, when you open the door, you're letting cold air out. These vans will always work better the less you open them. In fact, running the refrigeration unit while keeping the doors open may cause the unit to go into defrost mode. This is important. It's best to load the van with the refrigeration unit turned off. Lastly, when you're finished with the refrigeration unit, make sure you turn it off by pressing the power button on the control box before unplugging the standby cable or turning off the engine. It's as important to know how to turn off the unit as it is to start it. You've now seen the basics on how to use one of our refrigerated vans. If you have any further questions, please contact our Culver City office. We look forward to working with you.